Ugut, 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 ugut. Ayo deh, jual. After a decent win away to Truro and a victory over Bath in the last home game, can Tunbridge get on a run to take them away from the wrong end of the table? Opponents Chelmsford's last three games have all been draws. Last season, each team won their home game 1-0. The team news for Tunbridge have boosted the defence as Jamie Fielding's back from illness and Ben Swift returns from suspension. Joe Tyree drops to the bench. Charlie Pegram has returned to his parent club, Leighton Orient. Billy French is in the squad for the first time. And Chelmsford give a first start to Finlay Barbrook on loan for Ipswich, Luke Jenkins is back in the 11 from suspension against his former club. Well, we've got the mixture of weather today already, haven't we? Bright sunshine, but pouring with rain. The ball should run off that surface quite swiftly today. Corner then, coming in from the right-hand side, goalkeeper gets a hand to it, but it comes away to Jordan Higgs. Comes out to Shields on the left-hand side. Here's Higgs, getting a long-range effort in, that was on target. Scott Wagstaff scores! What a start for the Angels after only seven minutes. Jordan Higgs, shooting from distance. Difficult save for the goalkeeper, but he made the save. And Scott Wagstaff... Pops in from close range, he couldn't really miss. Tunbridge one, Chelmsford nil. There we go, keeper diving to his left. And he was nowhere when Wagstaff puts it in. His first goal of the season. It's Wagstaff to Jamie Fielding. Falls backwards, oh, mistake by Jamie Fielding. And there's an opportunity now for Chelmsford to go forward and there's a trip on the edge of the area. And it's a free kick. But what does the referee do with Ben Swift? But in an awkward position, I'm not quite sure what chance or what other option he had there. But it will be a free kick to Chelmsford on the edge of the area. Referee going in his back pocket, he's off. Oh, Ben Swift, first game back after suspension as well. And he brings Alpha down on the edge of the area. It's Francis actually who was going forward and Swift just catches him. Not a huge amount of contact, but contact there was. And that is deemed denying a goal scoring opportunity. But can Chelmsford double punish Tunbridge with this one? It's Mo Betema then to take the free kick. It's straight into the wall. I think they were hoping that the wall would leap up, but it didn't. Terry Kynes on the right-hand side. Tunbridge having to adapt their formation. Looks like just going back to the two central defenders. Jordan Higgs now right-hand side. Playing it in there towards Hines. Lewis Gard wants it on the edge of the area. Gard lays the ball off. And a decent shot coming in, forcing a save with Shields finding the target. But the goalkeeper, Alua Yemi, on loan from Portsmouth in good form. Let's just have a look. Was that going in? Yeah, it was. Definitely would have gone in. Ochiang's long ball forward. And Jamie Fielding heads out for a corner. Taken by Brooks, goes deep, header goes in, and that's a goal, that's Luke Jenkins, the former Tunbridge man who's found the back of the net with that far post header, back in the side after a ban, and heads it past Henley. And he did well there to get up and win that ball with three or four defenders around him. Well, Chumps are now going forward with the substitute rough on the right-hand side, with a challenge going in there from Shields. Played out to the right-hand side. Here's Ruff again. Good opportunity being crowded out. There goes the shot. Oh, only just wide. That was Barbrook with the effort from around about 20 yards. Last 20 minutes of the game. Which side's going to go on and win this, if anybody? Foul on the edge of the area. Scott Wagstaff can't believe it. He feels he got the ball. Looks like he did get the ball, but got man as well. 
So Betterman winning his side the free kick. Right, three men over this one. Who fancies that one? Off the bar! Summit Carruthers with the effort. Little flick onto the right-hand side. Barn and Bob gets the ball in. But over the top, the nearest side that either have come to scoring since the break. Lovely free kick. Henley was beaten. And the bar's still wobbling. Must be practically it now. Long ball for Tunbridge going forward right-hand side. Is there the opportunity to get one in these final minutes or so? Nobody in the area. And Tunbridge will try and win a corner. They do. But rather than put it in the area there, keeping it in the corner and going for the point, which is what they've won. It's finished here at the Longbeat Stadium. Tunbridge Angels won. Chelmsford City won. Tunbridge hanging on with 10 men to the point for the last 75 minutes of the game. But both sides will go away with the scores level. Well played. We did, we did well. Thank you.